Fuzz hit me back. He was like, man, he said, uh, that Kendrick. I was like, yeah, I said, I heard it, man. I said, I heard it. I said, but Drake, you know, Drake came too. And he was like, yeah, but that Kendrick Lamar, I said, man, I said, yeah, I heard that one. He was like, no, he said he did another one. <laughs> and I'm like, no, he said, I sent it to you. So literally, and I'm all, I'm only in Vegas tip for the weekend, so how big is right. your bag? How, how much stuff am I really unpacking? Damn. That by the time I listened to one, the other came. And that's You're why I say it. not like us. Yes. Okay. And, yeah. and that's why when I say I'm not waiting on no more albums from them, <laughs> yeah. well, because you know I know that they can. The thing is, that's a that's an actual, that's an actual, like, that's a bop. Like, I hear them, I hear them playing that in the club. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I think that's, uh, like, that's the, uh, I believe I was in Vegas as well. I was actually. Were you out there for uh, Lovers, at, and friends. Lovers and Friends? Yeah, I was. I yeah. was at Usher House. Uh, I was at Usher House. We were having a little, uh, a little get together, a little barbecue, or what have you. And uh, DJ MLK shot it to me, and I listened. And I was like, uh, cause we, you know, of course, any social circle you you gather, you know, during that time period, oh, yeah. that's gonna be the conversation. Yes, sir. And so everybody was uh, just as you said, listening to the records as they dropped. And and I think uh, they was going through family matters, and MLK sent me uh, not like uh I said hey, hey yeah <laughs> hold hey, on man. for a second hold up man here 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 run that man yeah and you know what I'm saying we uh but it was it but that's a that those are moments that 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 hip hop created you yeah, feel man. me. Those are moments that, and then you know that night we went to the club and, and JD played both both records, and you know I think that man it all stimulates the 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 attention of of this thing that we that we do you know mm -hmm. what I mean what we know and love so much, so I think that anytime man you got two giants yes, in, a, in, a, in a field uh, that are that are worthy opponents. You know, and that can match wits with one another. I feel like it's gonna be good for the game. What did you feel when when Cole said, "I'm not being a part of this"? Man, I feel he chose peace and tranquility. Yeah, man, <laughs> they do, and that's what I said then. And not when everything else started coming, I said that man said hey. it didn't sit right with my soul. Yeah. So there is yeah. no, oh man, you need to get back in there. And yeah. then when you look at the long run, yeah. because it, it this did get a little crazy. Yeah. That was the, yeah. per, I mean, I would have been, you this is exactly what I'm talking skin. about. You got to oh, have thick oh, yeah. skin. Yeah, you got to have thick skin. You got to really be unfazed and unbothered. Oh, yeah. And we don't know, you know what I mean, the temperament or uh, the, the, the sensitivity of, of, of Cole's dynamic. I don't know. You right. know, we've never seen we've never seen Cole upset. Right. And, and those what, are the ones that, you gotta be careful. Exactly. With. We don't know where that would take him. Yeah, man. So, you know, so I think, you know, he was that was quite mature of him. I think the feds would put Mark's kids in handcuffs. And they aren't kids. They are grown men. And they are suspected to support the S trafficking of minors, wrote one user in reaction to Chris's statement. While others added, This is the equivalent of Ted Bundy questioning the arrest of Jeffrey Dahmer. I almost hate to admit this, but he's right. Normally, by the time you're raided, they got you and you're getting arrested. It's interesting that he hasn't been... I mean, I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I know that. Like, I know I have nothing to do with it. Now, let's highlight a few fan comments left underneath this clip. People who actually saw and lived through all this says Jay-Z is also part of it. But people on the internet call it conspiracy theory, wrote one user. While others said, Jay-Z has been tied to the deepest evils of the industry and it's a fact. There's too much to this, accusations on accusations on our black people. Jay-Z said he's a pimp in every sense of the word, literally the lyrics to Big Pimpin'. Hmm, good point. The Rockefeller co-founder, Dame Dash, reflected on Jay's working relationship with Kelly, who in 1994 married 15-year-old Aaliyah when he was 27 years old. According to Dame, who started dating Aaliyah, a year or so before the R&B singer passed away in 2001, Hobbs' decision to collaborate with R. Kelly bothered him. It isn't the first time Dame has ripped Jay for working with R. Kelly. During a 2019 interview with Kenyatta Griggs, the Rockefeller co-founder reflected on Jay's working relationship with Kelly, who in 1994 married 15-year-old Aaliyah when he was 27 years old. According to Dame, who started dating Aaliyah a year or so before the singer passed away in 2001, Hobbs' decision to collaborate with R. Kelly bothered him. 
It isn't the first time Dame has ripped Jay for working with R. Kelly. During a 2019 interview with Kenyatta Griggs, Dash pegged Hobbs' decision to team up with the disgraced R&B star as a reason for Rockefeller's decline in the wake of Dame and Jay's falling out. How do you feel about these accusations?